So today we are going to discuss the effect of hematocrit and blood viscosity on vascular resistance and blood flow. Like what will happen to the vascular resistance and blood flow with increase or decrease in hematocrit and viscosity of the blood. Now we have previously discussed the Pauseli's theory or the Pauseli's equation for blood flow. Basically, it this equation, the Pauseli's uh, equation for blood flow, it shows that there are a lot of factors which affect the blood flow. The most important uh, factor which we discussed previously was the diameter or the radius of the blood flow because it was uh, related with the blood flow with the power of 4. Then uh, the, we also discussed that the difference between the pressure on both sides of the blood vessel is also important for the blood flow according to Poiseuille's uh, law. And then uh, two other factors which has an effect on the blood flow are viscosity which is presented with the eta and the length of the blood vessel. So today we are basically going to discuss the viscosity and hematocrit and their effect on the blood flow according to the Poiseuille's equation. So the viscosity is seen in this equation. The viscosity has been presented with the eta and it basically shows that greater the viscosity the less the flow in a vessel if other factors are constant. If the pressure is constant, if the radius of the vessel is constant and if the length of the vessel is constant, then only changing the viscosity will have a negative effect on the blood flow because they are inversely proportional to each other. So greater the viscosity, if this fact viscosity increases, then the flow will decrease because they are inversely proportional to each other. Viscosity of blood is three times that of water. Blood is thicker than water. It's a famous thing. And basically the vis it's thicker because the viscosity of blood is more than that of water. So increasing the viscosity the decreases the flow because they are inversely proportional. Now what is the main factor that increases the viscosity of blood? Viscosity of blood increases as the hematocrit increases. So the most important factor for the increase or decrease in the viscosity of blood is hematocrit. Now what is basically hematocrit? Hematocrit is the percentage of cells in the blood. Hematocrit is the percentage of cells in the blood. If we take blood, if we take blood in a test tube, this blood will have some cells and it will also have some fluids. It will have some fluid and some proteins. Apart from ions and other molecules. So hematocrit, hematocrit is basically the percentage of cells. It basically shows the percentage of cells in the blood. Normally, the hematocrit of blood is around 42. It is around 42 in males and around 38 in females. Somewhere around 40. It means that if we take blood in a test tube and we allow it to stain, then 42% of the blood will be cells and the remaining portion of the blood will be basically made of fluid and some other substances. So basically hematocrit, hematocrit is basically cells and viscosity increases as the hematocrit increases. Viscosity is dependent on the hematocrit and hematocrit is dependent on the number of cells. Now the cells in the blood can decrease in anemia. It can decrease in anemia and then viscosity will also decrease in anemia and flow will increase. The number of cells in blood, blood can increase. In anemia the number of cells will decrease 
but in polycythemia as the is num- the name shows the number of cells will increase when the number of cells increase hematocrit will increase when hematocrit increase viscosity will also increase when viscosity will increase the flow will automatically decrease because the viscosity and flow are inversely proportional to each other so that's a very simple and easy lecture about the effect of hematocrit and blood viscosity on vascular resistance and blood flow and it's basically uh, in the light of poiseuille's equation the poiseuille's equation basically shows the factors which has an influence on the blood flow and it shows the number of factors uh, uh, for example the partial uh, the difference of pressure on both sides of the vessel the radius of the vessels the viscosity of the fluid that is going in the vessel and length of the vessel and according to this equation greater the viscosity less the flow in a vessel if other factors are constant if all other factors are kept constant only viscosity increase or decrease then increasing the viscosity will decrease the flow now viscosity of blood is 3 times that of water and viscosity of blood basically increases as the hematocrit increases viscosity of blood is more than water 3 times more than water and it's basically due to the hematocrit and what is hematocrit hematocrit is basically the percentage of cells so all the factors like anemia or polycythemia or some other environmental factors which increase or decrease the the percentage of cells it's not about the number of cells it's about the percentage of cells so maybe the percentage of cells remain the same but fluid has increased or maybe the percentage of the cells remain the same but fluid has decreased so any factor which increase or decrease the num- the percentage of cells in the blood it will increase or decrease the viscosity and when the viscosity increase the blood flow will decrease and when the viscosity decrease the blood flow will increase so that's all about effect of hematocrit and blood viscosity on vascular resistance and blood flow thanks a lot for watching the video